In this video, I will show you how to use the Stockard app. So the Stockard app basically helps you add all sorts of cards to your Apple wallet. Now here is how you can go and use it. So after opening up the Stockard app right here, I have some cards that are popular for my country. But what you can also do is click on plus in the top right. And then here you can search for a card yourself. So they have hundreds of them right here. For example, if I want to add a Starbucks card, then I can click on Starbucks right here. And then we we'll ask for access to your camera. So go ahead and allow this. And then after doing that, you can go and scan the barcode of your card. And then you can use this in your Apple wallet. However, if you don't have a physical card, then you can also just add the card number right here. Then click save in the top right. For now, what I'll do is take the one in the top left right here. And then go and click enter manually. And then here you need to enter a card number. So I'll just find this. So here I've got mine, so now click save. And now you can see the card right here and I've successfully added this card now. So now I have added this to a wallet and you can now see I have it in my cards right here. You will now just have this card that you can now use to scan. So this way you have a really easy collection of your wallets and your cards right here that you can then just go and click on in order to scan it right here. So you can do the same with plane tickets and a bunch of different stuff. So you can do the same with pretty much everything and you can see it right here. So for example, I can add IKEA, America Today or any of these brands. So just click on them and then click on enter, then enter the card number in order to add it to the Stockard app. So now what you can do with the app is that in store, you can go and click on the card right here and then you can scan it. Now in the offers section right here, you can also see offers that are currently available. So you can get discounts and stuff like that. So that's basically what you can do with the Stockard app. So now you know how to use the Stockard app. If this video was helpful, please consider leaving a like and subscribing to my channel. With that being said, I will see you in the next video.